How's it going everybody? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be showcasing this program called Playski. Um, I'm not sure if that's how you want to pronounce it, but it is a little, it's a neat uh, image editor um, using ASCII art and it also has some animation stuff as well. Um, if ASCII art, in case you guys aren't aware, it's basically just some art that's all being used with, um, made out of ASCII characters, which are just, you know, like kind of characters that are on your, your keyboard and stuff like that. And it just creates artwork. You can use it to make neat looking games. And if you guys aren't really into pixel art or anything, this is a really basic stuff. It has a small palette. It has a small, there's a small amount of, um, well, I mean, there's all the ASCII characters. So there's kind of just like a, a small amount of shapes that you can use to, um, to create a lot of things. So it kind of makes it a lot simpler in case you guys want to do something that still looks nice and still stands out because it's pretty unique and it's still really easy to use. Here's the official website for it at vectorpalm.com. Um, here's the documentation as well. The documentation covers using some of the stuff and setting it up and installing it. He hosts it on itch.io, so you can download it on here. Um, I'll have this link in the description, and then you can find the website and the documentation link in here as well. He has the downloads for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, you can just download it and set it up. It's all fairly easy. I downloaded the Linux version because I'm running Ubuntu. And we'll go and check it out. Um, there. That's how you run it. Okay. And it uses SDL2 along with a few other libraries. It talks about it in the documentation, um, things that it uses. Uh, there it goes. It's all in Python, but it's PySDL2, NumPy Bellows. Um, and I guess PyDoc as well. I'm not sure what it needs that for. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really need it. But here you use the pip install, or you can use pip3 install. And then here it talks about running it or opening files and whatnot. Um, as you can see, when I ran it, I just ran this PlaySki uh, Linux script, but you can do this as well. Um, once you open it, you get to this screen. Uh, you can zoom in with the mouse. It's uh, actually feels really. It, like it's pretty smooth but um it has some basic tutorial uh, it says welcome it says how to do stuff use the mouse button or enter um, the middle mouse for changing the view like I mentioned this can be used for creating not just art but also animations so you can go on the frame you can add frames you can create the animations based on all this there's three different layers I mean you have your characters and then you have a foreground and your background so you can draw in the foreground and the background you're editing has, oh, that's not what I was looking at. The tools, it has all the tools you need from the painting, the racing, the rotating, grabbed, and it has the keyboard shortcut. It's uh, nothing complicated at all. It's not like you're using GIMP or Photoshop or anything. It's all straight to the point. It's all very easy to use. And like I mentioned, it's basically just really simple artwork using these ASCII characters. You can pull up the menu using the space bar. This will show all the ASCII characters. You can select them. You can select from your palette what uh, color you want to be using. Here are the tools as well, so you can switch between them. You can change your brush size for them. It's all fairly simple. Uh, once you're done, you can just go ahead and save them. You can uh, export them as well in case you want to have a different type of file, a PNG. And I believe a PNG set is for when you have frames. But it's all very simple to use. And I just thought of something I would showcase to you guys. If you guys are interested, you guys could use it. Um, yeah, uh, I guess another cool looking thing. It's pretty random, but there's this. You can change the grid, you can change the background. The CRT filter I also thought looks pretty nice. But uh, yeah, feel free to download it, it's free. And I think it would be great if anyone wanted to use this to make a game with. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice, and maybe I'll end up using it for future projects. And see you guys again next time. Bye.